so much to learn about. It'll make you want to shout, Blippi! <laughs> Hello! It's me, Blippi. Today, we're in Tenino, Washington, in front of a greenhouse. Whoa! Do you know what a greenhouse is? Yeah, a greenhouse is a house that houses plants. Yeah! It controls the environment, so then you can make sure that the temperature is just right for the plants to grow really big. <laughs> Let's go inside and check it out. Come on. Whoa! This place is awesome. There are so many plants here. Wow! Hey, look at this one. Yeah, it's a flower. Oh. Ah, oh, smells so good. Looks so pretty. <laughs> yeah. Check it out. Another one. Yeah. What color is this flower? Yeah, it's the color pink. Ooh, and all these leaves. What color are they? Yeah, the color green. Wow. Flowers are so cool. You can put them on your tabletop and they look so pretty. Whoa, what kind of plants are these? Oh, they look real small compared to those flowers. Yeah, these are actually called succulents. Huh, interesting. Hmm, they kind of look like cactuses. Yeah, but they're not pokey or anything. Actually, a cactus? Yeah, that's a type of succulent. Wow, succulents are so cool. Whoa. Ooh, some more flowers over here. Wow, there's so many flowers. A lot of greenhouses have flowers in them, or they could be growing fruits. Hmm, <laughs> I love fruits. And they might grow vegetables. Yum! I love vegetables too. I really enjoy eating healthy. Do you eat healthy? <laughs> yeah, good job. But hey, what color is this flower? Yeah, it's the color purple. <laughs> Come on. It's not a flower, it's not a fruit, it's not a vegetable. These look like a type of grass. Yeah, three different types of grasses. Look, whoa, looks like my hair. Hello, hey, <laughs> do I look silly or do I look silly? <laughs> oh, now that is silly. <laughs> Here's another type right here. Whoa, and another type. Whoa! Yeah, do you have grass at your house? You very well might. It's so fun to play in and roll in. Whoa, 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 <laughs> wow. <laughs> Ooh, there's so many plants in here. I enjoy greenhouses. Whoa, look at this. Wow, whoa. A big pot of flowers. Did you see how it was hanging? Yeah, this looks like a nice, pretty bouquet of flowers. Yeah, a bouquet is where it's a big group of flowers, but typically you cut them off and then you can make a very colorful bouquet. Wow, so pretty. But this is also pretty and it's in a hanging pot. Wow, all right, we have to make sure we put things back where we found them, woohoo! Whoa, check these out. Wow, so many colors. What colors do you see right here? Looks like that one is pink. That one right there is red. Ooh, look at that one. It's the same color as the sun. Yeah, yellow. <laughs> Whoa. All right, I have a really fun thing for us to do together. Have you ever planted a plant? <laughs> yeah, it's so much fun. Do you see this? 
Yeah, you know what this is? It's a flower. It's an adult flower. It's really old. <laughs> and look at this one. This looks like a teenager or a baby. It hasn't even created the flower yet, but soon enough, this is going to turn into this. But in order for it to become this size, yeah, it starts out as a seed. Yeah, every single plant, like flowers, I should say, start out as seeds. All right, but the things that every plant needs are sun, water, soil, which is like a house, and nutrition, which is like food. Whoa, all right, so let's create this plant's house or home where we're gonna put the seed. Oh, there we go. Yeah, let's scoop up this soil. Oh, <laughs> I'm making a mess, that's okay. <laughs> I'll clean it up after. There we go. All right, this soil has a lot of nutrition already in it. Yeah, there we go. And sometimes the water that you put in this to water it has some nutrition in it as well. All right. So check this out. This right here is a flower seed. Wow. Do you see how small it is? Yeah, so cool. So when you put this right in here and you push it down, there we go. Okay, let's cover it up just a little bit. The soil is nice and moist. And then after a while, it's gonna sprout up. And it's gonna be so small and cute. Oh! <laughs> and then it'll grow up to be this. Wow, so green and pretty. <laughs> but when it becomes an adult, it is going to flower. Yeah, good job. All right, so what are the four things that every plant needs to grow? Yeah. It needs some sun, it needs some soil, it needs some nutrition, and it needs some water. Wow, this was awesome. <laughs> Walking through the forest, look at all the trees. They give us lots of air, what we need to breathe. Look at all the critters roaming on the ground They help carry the seeds to grow plants all around Flowers are a-blooming, making lots of food For all the bugs and creatures, even me and you We're singing the earth song We're helping the planet Recycle paper, glass, and plastic Taking care of the earth Will make you feel fantastic You can plant a tree or pick up some trash Ask a friend for help Then it'll be a blast We're singing the earth song We're helping the planet Together, together We can make a change with you. Well, this 
this is the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? B-L-I-P-P-I. -P -P -I. Flippy. Good job. All right. See you again. Bye-bye. <laughs> hey, hey, it's me, Flippy. And today, we're here at Medieval Times in Orlando, Florida. Whoa! And look at it. It's a giant castle. <laughs> yeah. Whoa. We are at Medieval Times. That was a really long time ago. Like all the way in the 11th century. Whoa. <laughs> Did you know back in medieval times, people didn't drive in cars? Ring, 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 ring. No, instead they rode horses. <laughs> so silly. Hey, have you ever wondered what it was like in medieval times? Yeah, me too. Well, today you and I get to go in the Orlando castle and learn all about it. Yeah. Maybe we can even see a real life knight. That would be so cool. <laughs> Come on, let's find out. Whoa, look at it. It's a real life horse. Hello, Mr. Horse. Ah, <laughs> oh, he's so sweet. Today, we're here at the village stable. Yeah. A stable is where the horses get to eat yummy food <laughs> and take naps. <laughs> yeah, and get all ready and geared up for the tournament. <laughs> yeah! Hey, do you know what sound a horse makes? <laughs> yeah, that's right. They neigh. <laughs> neigh. <laughs> neigh. Hey, will you neigh like a horse with me? <laughs> okay, awesome. Here we go. Nay! 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 <laughs> so silly. Well, this is a really nice horse, but how about you and I go help get the horses all geared up for the tournament? Come on, let's go! Whoa! Look at it! This table has all the gear that we're gonna need to get the horses all ready for the tournament. Yeah! And look at this! Whoa! <laughs> yeah! This, this is a brush to help get all the dust and the dirt out of the horse's back. Yeah. <laughs> this is a body brush, so it's for the body of the horse. Whoa. And look at these ones right here. Hey, spiky. <laughs> yeah, these are brushes for the horse's mane and tail. Yeah, they have longer bristles so that they can get through the hair, kind of like the hair on your head. Ooh. <laughs> so silly. Whoa, and look at this. This is everything we need to put on the horse. We have the saddle pad. Yeah, this saddle pad is really soft and squishy. Ooh, squish, 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 squish. <laughs> and this goes on the horse first to make sure that the saddle is super comfy. Yeah. Whoa, and look at it. This is a really big saddle. The saddle can whew, be kind of heavy, and it goes on the back of the horse so that the knights can ride all around. <laughs> and it buckles in, so it's kind of like a belt for the horse. Woo! <laughs> we'll just clip that in, get on top, and ride the horse super fast. <laughs> so silly. Whoa, and this, this is the last thing that we need to put on top of the horse. This is a comparison. Yeah, and this comparison is the color green and brown. <laughs> yeah, good job. Yeah, the comparison helps the knight tell one horse and knight from another horse and knight. So they don't all look the same in their metal armor and the white horses. Yeah, so this comparison, this will go over the saddle last. Well, that's everything we need. Now it's time to get ready to get the horse ready for the tournament. Okay. First, let's grab a brush. Come on. Oh, hello. Hey, look. This is a really beautiful horse. Hello. His name is Humo. Hi, Humo. 
first, let's brush Humo's fur. His hair. <laughs> Horses don't have fur. So silly. <laughs> yeah. Brush, brush, brush. All the dust. Brush off all the dust. <laughs> yeah. And now that we've cleaned Humo and got all the dust and dirt out of his back, we can put on the saddle pad, the saddle, and the comparison. Let's go. We helped Humo get all dressed up for the tournament. And look, now he's the color green and brown. <laughs> yeah! Well, that was so much fun helping Humo get all geared up. But now I think it's time for you and me to get all dressed up for the tournament ourselves. <laughs> OK, we're about to go, but I think Humo's done a really good job being a horse. And he's had all of his yummy vegetables and fruit for dinner. So we're going to give him a sugar cube. <laughs> Hello? Good job, Humo. Woo! <laughs> that tickles. Woo! <laughs> Humo, you're such a good horsey. Well, now it's time to go get dressed up ourselves. Come on! Hey, it's me, Knight Flippy. <laughs> That's so silly. I'm not a real knight, but today you and I get to learn about what it was like to be a knight a thousand years ago. Whoa! That was a really long time ago. Have you ever wondered what it was like to be a knight? Hmm, well, you had to be brave and you had to ride horses. Nay, 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 <laughs> so silly. And you had to be strong and kind. Whoa, on second thought, it actually is pretty tricky being a real knight. <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> look at it, a real knight. And now it's time to knight Sir Blippi. I am so excited because you and I don't only get to learn about knights, but I get to become a knight. But first, I need to complete three knights challenges. Whoa, and look at this. This is the first knights challenge. It's called the Big Rings Challenge. <laughs> yeah. So the way to win the Big Rings Challenge is to take a lance, which is like a really long stick, and to put it through two rings in a row. One here, and one way down there. <laughs> if you only get one, you gotta do it again until you get both to complete the Knight's Challenge. <laughs> yeah, this is gonna be so much fun. But first, I need to get some Knight's gear. Come on. <laughs> Whoa, look at this. It's a real life Knight's Lance. Whoa! And this is really heavy. This is what I'm gonna use to try to complete the Big Rings Challenge. Hmm, but what's a knight without its trusty steed? And hey, look, this is my trusty horse, Brownie. Hey, hello, Brownie. Hello. Ooh. <laughs> okay, I have my lance and I have Brownie, so we're all ready to do the Knight's Challenge. Let's go. Hey. Okay, here we go. Ready, Brownie? Nay! <laughs> okay, I'm ready to Knight's Challenge! <laughs> Whoa! Uh-oh, I only got one ring. That means that Brownie and I are gonna have to try the Knight's Challenge one more time. Nay! Brownie thinks so too. Okay, let's go. <laughs> okay, let's try this again. I think I can do it. Let's go. <laughs> yeah! Whoa. Whoa, that was really hard. I'm getting tired after that night's challenge, but look. We got both of the rings. <laughs> Thanks, Brownie, for helping me out. Hey! <laughs> that was so much fun. And now it's time to move on to the second night's challenge. Let's go find out. Come on. Whoa, Brownie. <laughs> yeah, 
We completed the first knight's challenge. We're really close to becoming a knight. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so the second knight's challenge is even harder, needing agility and strength and really good horse riding skills. <laughs> yeah. It's called the flag toss. It's when me and another knight will toss a flag back and forth three times. And if you catch it all three times, then you complete the challenge. <laughs> okay, here we go. I'm gonna need a little bit of help, so my friend, Sir David, is gonna help me out. Okay, ready, Sir David? Ready. Okay, here we go. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. <laughs> yeah, we did it. We caught the flag three times. <laughs> this is so much fun. Thanks, Brownie. Nay! <laughs> yeah! Okay, so all we have left is the third challenge. And it's a really, really tricky one. It's called the Knight's Dress Up Challenge. I have to get all geared up with all the night clothes in under 10 seconds. Whoa! I don't think I'm gonna need your help on this one, Brownie. Bye bye I'll see you later at the stables. Nay! <laughs> Whoa. Okay, I think I'm all ready. Put the time on the clock. Here we go. Whoa, this armor is so cool. Yeah, we did it. We did all three of the Knight's challenges. And now I get to be Knight Blippi. Woohoo! I'm so excited that I think you and I should do a victory dance. Okay, here we go. That was so awesome. Now I get to be a knight. <laughs> Not so fast, Flippy. Oh, hey, Sir David. There's still two more challenges left. Huh, two more challenges, but we already completed three. <laughs> I guess two more won't be so hard. So what are the next two challenges? Well, first you have to learn the knight's code. Whoa, do you know what the knight's code is? Me neither. Uh, Sir David, what's the knight's code? A knight is sworn to valor. Okay, so we need to be really brave. His heart knows only virtue. Okay, so that means, hmm, we'll be really kind. His blade defends the helpless and his might upholds the weak. Hmm, that means you should always help others who need some help. And his words speak only truth. Always tell the truth. <laughs> Those are easy, we can do that. What's the other challenge? Well, the other challenge is the javelin toss. Whoa. That sounds like it's gonna be really, really hard. But hey, I got all my knight's armor and I think we can do it. Yeah, okay, here we go. Ooh. I think I'm all ready to go, come on. Start the knighting ceremony! <laughs> yeah! Okay, here we go. I, Doña Maria Isabella, queen of this castle and ruler of this realm, W. Blippi, once, twice, and thrice as knight of the realm. <laughs> yeah! We did it! <laughs> Good job! Thanks for helping me complete all of the knight's challenges. They were really tricky, but we did a really good job. <laughs> it was so much fun learning all about knights from the 11th century, which was really, really long ago. And it was nice that we learned that knights aren't only strong, but they're kind and they like to help others. <laughs> well, that's the end of this video, but if you want to see more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Hey, will you spell my name with me? <laughs> yeah! B-L-I-P-P-I, Flippy! Good job! <laughs> Well, I guess it's Sir Blippi now. <laughs> so silly. Well, I'll see you real soon. Bye-bye! Whoa! Uh-oh. Uh... <laughs> hey! It's me, Blippi! Whoa! And this is really fun rock climbing, but it's a little tricky. <laughs> That was so much fun! Hey, let's do some awesome exercising! Let's do jumping jacks! Don't forget to stretch! Oh, <laughs> exercise!
exercising is so much fun. And always remember, after you exercise, to stay hydrated. <laughs> yeah! Whoa! <laughs> Look at it! It's a water bottle! Whoa, this is really important to always have a water bottle after you exercise. <sighs> I'm feeling refreshed already. You know, it's also good to always eat fruits and vegetables and other healthy snacks after you exercise so you can keep your energy to keep on playing. Whoa, I think you and I should play some more. Look at these cool blocks. Whoa, there are so many colors. Red, green, blue, <laughs> yeah. Whoa, that was so much fun. Well, I think it's about time for you and I to eat some healthy snacks. And I know just the place that will have fun and exciting ways to eat fruits and vegetables. How about you and I make some tasty smoothies today? <laughs> yeah, would you like to come with me? Aw, thanks. <laughs> Let's go. I'll see you there. We're here today at Ross Smoothie Co. in Tampa, Florida. <laughs> yeah, come on. Hmm. I sure wish there was someone here to help us get a healthy snack. Welcome to Ross Smoothie Co. <laughs> hey, it's a person. I bet they can help us find a tasty treat. <laughs> Hello, my name's Flippy. My name is Gian. Nice to meet you. Oh, nice to meet you. Well, we've been looking for a really healthy snack. Think you can help us? I think I can. Oh. Well, we've been doing a lot of dancing and exercising. Hmm. What do you think would be the best healthy snack? Hmm. I would say a smoothie bowl. Whoa, a smoothie bowl? <laughs> yeah, that sounds delicious. Um, but what's a smoothie bowl? A smoothie bowl is an all organic combination of fruits, vegetables, nutrients, vitamins, and all things healthy. Whoa, that sounds perfect. And we like to try new things, especially if they're healthy. Hey, you know what healthy is, right? Healthy is something that's really good for your body and your muscles. <laughs> yeah, and helps you grow up big and strong. <laughs> yeah, let's try that smoothie bowl. You know what, Blippi? Come on back. Oh, let's go! <laughs> I am so excited to make a smoothie bowl. <laughs> hey, Gian. Hey, Blippi. Well, what kind of smoothie bowl are we going to make? We're going to make an acai bowl today. An acai, acai... Close. It's acai. Whoa, acai. <laughs> That's pretty tricky. <laughs> Sounds really healthy and tasty, though. It is. It's absolutely amazing for you. Are you ready? Yeah. All right. Step one, we got to put on gloves. OK. We got to make sure we put on the gloves. One glove. Two gloves. <laughs> Great. Next, we got to break up our acai packet. That Whoa. should be good. <laughs> That's a really cool hammer. <laughs> now we got to put it in our smoothie canister. Ooh, this will be so tasty when it's all blended up. <laughs> there you go. Oh, look. It's the color purple. Ooh. <laughs> okay, Gian, so what do we do next? Well, we got to put more ingredients in there. Next is banana. Whoa, I love bananas. <laughs> This is going to make it extra yummy. All right, we're going to make it really tasty with some agave. Whoa, agave. Have you heard of agave before? Hmm. Me neither. Well, what's that? All right, agave is a really healthy sweetener. It's not like sugar. It's much better for you to come from plants. Ooh, <laughs> great. OK, so we got bananas, and we got acai, and we got agave. What's next? Well. We gotta finish it off with some almond milk. Ooh, okay. I love almonds. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so where do we go next? Go over here to our ice machine. Grab a little bit of ice. Okay. And then we have to blend. Okay, let's go to the blender. 
You ready, Blippi? I'm all ready. This is gonna be so much fun blending it. And you know what the best thing to do while we pass the time and wait for it to finish getting blended? Dance party! Yeah! That looks so cool! <laughs> yep. Let's keep going. Now we have to actually build the acai bowl. Ooh, and look at all these really tasty ingredients. There's all kinds of really cool things here. Yeah, we have the acai packet, and we have some spinach. Ooh, <laughs> silly dummy. And, yeah, do you know what this is? Mmm, crunchy granola. Whoa. And Gion, what are these white little flakes? Those are coconut flakes. Oh, coconuts? Ooh, I love coconuts. These will be really good too. And uh, this is, hmm, what about this? That's healthy chocolate. It's called cacao. Cacao? Whoa, we'll put some of that in too. And what about all these little seeds? Those little buddies are chia seeds and flax seeds. Whoa, I love seeds. <laughs> hey, whoa. I bet these seeds will be really tasty if you're a bird, but they're also really tasty if you want to stay nice and healthy. Oh, and then I know what these are. Look, a strawberry, mm. <laughs> and a banana. Whoa. We should definitely put these in. Okay. All right. Are you ready to build a bowl? I'm all ready. <laughs> all right, we go back to our acai. Okay. First step, let's go ahead and put some granola in there. Next, I gotta grab my spatula over here, and we're gonna go ahead and put the acai in the bowl with the granola. Whoa, it was really hard and frozen, but once we blended it up, look, it looks like a smooth kind of paste. Oh, it almost looks like ice cream. <laughs> yeah, that's so tasty. <laughs> once we get our acai in the bowl, gonna flatten it out, smooth it out, make it look really nice. At Raw Smoothie Co, we're extra healthy, so we put greens in everything. Whoa, what kind of greens are those? Here we have organic spinach. Ooh, spinach, mmm. Spinach makes you really strong. <laughs> All right. Now, we're gonna put some coconut flakes on top. Whoa, coconut flakes. <laughs> Remember those from before? Yeah, really tasty stuff. Now, the best part, we gotta put our fruit on top. <laughs> yeah, I love fruit. So what fruits are we gonna put on it? I think we're gonna go with strawberry and banana today. Perfect, okay. All right, so get a scoop of our strawberry. We're gonna put that in here. Oh, that bowl not only looks healthy and delicious, but really, really colorful. <laughs> All right, next step is we gotta put our banana, and for that, we're gonna have to cut it. Okay. Make sure before you use ever a knife, you want to make sure our grown-ups using the knife or you ask permission. Mm -hmm. I'm a professional blippy, so I think I got this. Oh, look at it. He peeled off the banana and now he's cutting it up into slices. Whoa, and it'll fit perfectly in the acai bowl. I'm gonna chop it up nice and small. Now we're gonna put it in our acai bowl. Get our acai bowl close. Next step, we gotta put our healthy chocolate, cacao. Whoa, look at all that chocolate. <laughs> can I put a little extra chocolate on? You absolutely can. Here, you can go ahead and do the next scoop. Okay, here we go. Let's scoop up some chocolate. Whoa, it's raining chocolate. Yummy. <laughs> oh, that was really good. Last step, Blippi, and then you can almost eat it, is seeds, you know Whoa, it. Look at all the seeds. Whoa, there's so many seeds. Here we go. It's gonna rain seeds. Whoa, that was so much fun. <laughs> is that it? This is it, Blippi, there you go. Whoa, look at this. It's so delicious and colorful. We have the granola and our blended acai. Oh, our delicious toppings, <laughs> yeah. I'm so excited to eat this delicious smoothie bowl. Hey, Gian, 
This is a smoothie bowl because we use a spoon to eat it and it's in a bowl. But what if I wanted to put this in a cup and drink it through a straw? Well, we can make a smoothie. Oh, a smoothie? I would love to eat a smoothie. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Mmm, this looks really tasty. But All right. Think you could teach us how to make a smoothie? Yeah, and actually at Raw Smoothie Co., we'll make a green smoothie so it's extra healthy. Whoa. I can't wait to make a green smoothie. But first, I want a little bite. So, what's the first step to make a healthy smoothie? First, let's grab our smoothie canister. And so, what are we going to put inside? Well, let's start with the easiest ingredients to blend. Okay. So, let's start off with our juice. I love juice, especially fruit juice. <laughs> Next, we're going to put healthy greens in our smoothie. Ooh, I love spinach and healthy greens. Okay. Okay, so what next? I'm going to let you take care of the next part. Okay. I think we'll, I know what we're going to do next. We'll put in some fruit. That's right. So go ahead and put in some banana. Okay, here we go. Got some banana. And hmm, put some of this fruit in. Do you know what fruit this is? Yeah, this is a tasty mango. Okay, here we go. And this is one of my favorites. The last fruit we need is some pineapple. <laughs> yeah. Let's put some seeds and then ice it. So just put some seeds in there? Yeah, why don't you throw some seeds in there, Hoodie? Okay. Rain and seeds. Okay, let's go on to the next step. All right, let's put some ice in there. Okay, here we go. Here we go. And into the blender. Perfect. <laughs> okay, so now what do we do with it? Now we have to blend it. Okay, here you go. Thank you. Are you ready to try your smoothie blipping? I am so ready and excited. <laughs> Let's try it. Here we go. This looks so tasty. Yeah. Well, it's kind of like the smoothie bowl, but we ate that in a bowl with a spoon. But this one, <laughs> this smoothie, ooh, thanks, Gian, has a straw. Okay, put that in there. Hmm. We'll get the little paper off. Oh, can you help me, Gian? Absolutely. Ooh, I am so excited to taste this smoothie. Okay, here we go. Oh, yeah, this smoothie is so tasty. And it's really healthy, too. I'm gonna have another sip. I'll see you soon. Hey! Whoa, that was so much fun learning how to make smoothies at Raw Smoothie Co. <laughs> yeah, they are so tasty. <sighs> and healthy because they're organic. Ooh. <laughs> hey, what's that over there? Look at it! It says chef's table. Food. <laughs> I bet we're gonna eat some yummy foods. <laughs> Whoa! And look at that! It's a picture of a tongue. Bah, bah. <laughs> so silly. Why would there be a picture of a tongue? Hmm. Oh, because our tongue uh, helps us to taste. <laughs> it helps us to taste because our tongue has taste buds. Yeah, and that tells our brain if something is sweet mm, <laughs> or sour. Mm, <laughs> Whoa, taste test. I bet we're gonna taste all kinds of new foods. <laughs> I'm so excited. Let's go see what we're gonna try. Come on. Whoa, look, we're here at the chef's table. Ooh. And look at all these little containers. Yeah, I bet there's food for us to taste in each one of them. <laughs> Let's start right here. Whoa, look at it. It's a grapefruit. Mmm. <laughs> I bet this grapefruit is really tasty. Okay, let's try it. Ooh, that grapefruit tastes really good. Hmm, it tastes kind of bitter. Yeah, not really super sweet, but it doesn't taste bad. It just tastes kind of bitter. Ooh, <laughs> so yummy. Okay, 
Gotta figure out what's in this next container. Let's see. Whoa, <laughs> look at it. Yeah, I bet you know what food this is. It's a yummy pretzel. Mm. <laughs> Let's take a bite. This pretzel is really tasty. Yeah, it's really salty. You see, it's so rough and bumpy because of all the little, little crystals of salt. <laughs> yeah, and that salt tastes really good on my taste buds. Hmm. <laughs> bye bye, pretzel. Hmm. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Look at it. This. It's a little triangle. <laughs> yeah, it's a triangle because it has one, two, three sides. Yeah, look at it. <laughs> this triangle is from a watermelon. I can't wait to taste this one. Mmm, this watermelon is really sweet. <laughs> I love foods that are sweet because they make me so happy. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna have some more sweet watermelon later. Ooh, okay, we're almost to the end. I'm so excited for this next food. Ooh, this one's a really small one. This is a lime. It's the color green. Let's give it a try. Mmm, ooh, <laughs> whoa. This has a really, really, really cool flavor. It's Sour. This lime is so sour. Ooh, it makes my face and body do all kinds of silly shapes. Ooh. <laughs> I'm gonna taste it one more time. Woo! <laughs> I really like that sour lime. Ooh, I feel so awake. Whoa! <laughs> okay, we're on the last food. Let's see what's inside. Whoa! It's a pepper. Ooh. And it's green, there's an orange pepper, and a red pepper. I think I'm gonna try the orange pepper because it's my favorite color. Okay, here we go. But just take a teeny bite. <laughs> Woo, that pepper is really spicy. Woo, there's like a dance party in my mouth. Woo. Ah, 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 woo. It's so spicy. I think I need to eat some water. Oh, is there any wa water? We gotta find some water. Oh, we got the water. Oh, better. I like spicy food, but sometimes you need a little water after you eat it because it makes your mouth woo, so energized. Ooh. Well. This was so much fun. I hope we can taste some more foods together soon. <laughs> Whoa, I had such a fun day with you today. We learned about so many different things like moving your body is healthy exercise. And it's important to fill your body with really healthy foods and snacks. Mm. <laughs> it's also really fun that we learned how to make smoothies and we taste with our tongue. <laughs> so silly. Well, this is the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Hey, will you spell my name with me? <laughs> yeah. B-L-I-P-P-I. -P -P -I. Good job. Well, I'll see you real soon. Bye-bye. <laughs> Ooh, I almost forgot. Always keep yourself hydrated. <sighs> Hello friends, it's me, Blippi. And today we're exploring construction vehicles. Let's see, can you guess which vehicle this is? Let's go find out. Hey, it's me, Blippi. Wow, and look at where I'm at. Yeah, today I'm at Tenino, Washington at a job site. Yeah, and today you and I get to learn about a machine. Yeah, a really heavy machine. It has a really big blade up front 
pushes anything and everything out of its way. It has a lot of power. It's a little slow, though. And it starts with the letter B, just like my name. <laughs> Do you know what machine it is? OK, let's go find out. Woohoo! <laughs> Check it out! Wow! A piece of construction equipment! And this is a powerful piece of construction equipment. Do you know what machine this is? Yeah! This is a bulldozer! Wow! It is so powerful. Here, come on! Whoa! This is the blade of the bulldozer. Yeah, the blade pushes anything and everything out of its way. And then it goes flat on the ground and then makes the ground nice and flat. Whoa! Whoa! And how it gets all of its power is right here. Yeah! The engine! And this is the engine compartment. Yeah! It produces a lot of power and a lot of smoke out of the exhaust. Whoa! Super cool. Hey! Do you see these? Huh, this is silly. <laughs> yeah, there's no wheels and tires. That's silly, huh? Oh, these are called tracks. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, these metal things go down into the dirt, the gravel, the mud, so then it has really good traction, so then it doesn't slip and slide. <laughs> All right, I think I should take it for a spin. Woohoo! Whoa, so comfortable. All right, first things first. Safety first. Perfect. Now that I'm nice and safe with my seatbelt, we can operate the bulldozer. Yeah. You operate a bulldozer. You do not drive a bulldozer. <laughs> okay, see these hand controls? This is how you operate the bulldozer. This one makes you go forward and backward, and this one, yeah. This is what you use to control the blade. <laughs> All right, here we go. Let's turn on the key. Woohoo! All right, flip up the safety doodads, and here we go. Whoa, check it out! Whoa! Woohoo! All right. was fun. <laughs> Whoa! That was awesome. Wow, what a powerful machine. Did you see that big blade up front? Yeah, it's so good and powerful. It pushes anything and everything out of its way. Our first vehicle was a bulldozer. They are such an important piece of equipment and help clear the way. Hmm, can you guess what this next vehicle is? Let's go check it out. Let me give you some hints on what piece of machinery we're gonna learn about. Okay, it's a machine that loves to dig. Yeah, it typically has tracks. Yeah, has an arm and a boom and a bucket, digs big holes, and it starts with the letter E. <laughs> Can you guess it? Okay, here we go. <laughs>
this excavator. Yeah, I was driving and holding this giant log. Wait, did you hear that? Yeah, an excavator. Wow, what a cool machine. This is actually a mini excavator. Yeah, they have small ones like this, and they have big ones like that. Wow. Hey, did you see I was sitting in the seat? Yeah, this is the cab of the excavator. Wow, there's so many controls in there. Oh, so cool. Hey, and look down here. Wow. Yeah, just like a bulldozer, this excavator has tracks. But a bulldozer's tracks are metal. And these, yeah, they're rubber, like tires. Wow, that is really cool. The cab can swing around. Yeah, did you see me swing around? Whoa, so cool. Oh, and up here, wow. It's hard to see because the bucket is right here. But this is the blade. Just like a bulldozer, this excavator has a blade to flatten things out and push things out of its way. And where this log is sitting, yeah, this is the bucket of the excavator. Wow, this bucket has some big teeth. Yeah, <laughs> whoa, whoa. Look at this. This kind of looks like a big tooth, but this is actually called a thumb. Wow, the thumb is used to grab things, just like this log. Whoa. And all this, this is the arm and the boom, which then can lift up, swing around, and use the bucket to dig. Yeah, I think I should hop on in and do some digging. Woohoo! I'm an excavator, excavator, hey dirt, see you later, I'm an excavator, I've got a great big arm and a great big boom, if I start digging now I'll be done real soon, I'm a dirt separator, I'm an excavator. Doug. Wow, so cool. Hey, and look at this big pile of dirt. Wow, I love dirt. Yeah, because it's fun to play around in and it's the per perfect home for some plants. Woohoo! Here we go. Here you go, plants. Woohoo! <laughs> wow, excavators are awesome. Yeah! Wasn't that excavator so cool? I love getting to dig things up and an excavator makes it so easy and fun. Whoa! That sure was fun learning about that excavator today, wasn't it? Yeah, you can dig some massive holes with the excavator. And since it doesn't have wheels and tires, it has tracks. Yeah, you never get stuck. Yeah. Well, this is the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? B-L-I-P-P-I-Blippi. -P -P -I.
good job. See you again. Bye bye. Me, Flippy, and check out where we're at. The Indianapolis Motor Speedway in Indianapolis, Indiana. <laughs> and guess what happens here? The world's largest single day sporting event. It's a really, really big race. The Indy 500. <laughs> oh, I am so excited to go inside and see all of those really fast race cars in real life. Hey, do you like to go really fast too? <laughs> Great. Me too. Well, let's go and start your engines. Whoa! Whoa! This place is awesome! <laughs> I am so excited to learn about so many different things, like race cars and racetracks, and what it takes to be a professional race car driver. <laughs> this is so fun. <laughs> Whoa, but do you know where we are right now? We're on the track. <laughs> yeah. I'm so excited to be on the actual track at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. <laughs> Whoa, and there's so many cool things here. Come on. Whoa, look at it. <laughs> hey, do you know who that is? It's me. <laughs> they even have my name here. Wow, and look what's under me. A lot of seats. Yeah, this is a really big track, so they have lots of seats so they can have lots of people. 250,000 people. <laughs> That's a lot of people. Wow. This place is so huge. <laughs> I bet a lot of people and a lot of cars will go here. <laughs> wow, it's so big. <laughs> this track is really big and really long. It's two and a half miles. Whoa, <laughs> yeah, two and a half miles. And the drivers do 200 laps. Whew. That means 500 miles? Whoa! Wait a minute. 500 miles? Indy 500? Oh! <laughs> That's why they call it that. <laughs> so silly. Wow! This is so cool. Can you see what's here? Yeah, look. They have different lines drawn on the ground because we're in the pit lane. <laughs> yeah! This is the part of the track where drivers get they can come to the side to get new tires or more gas and get ready to keep racing. Yeah. And each one of these boxes has a different car and team. <laughs> Whoa, it's so cool here. Well, maybe if we get really lucky, we can ride in a real race car. Whoa, and look at this. <laughs> it's a real life race car. And professional race car drivers, Alexander Rossi and James Hinchcliffe. <laughs> Hi, it's me, Blippi. Hey, Blippi. Blippi, how are you doing? I'm doing great. It's really nice to meet you. So good to see you, man. Yeah, thanks Ooh. for coming out. Is this your race car? Sure is. Whoa, it looks so fast and really cool. And hey, do you notice something? <laughs> you have my name on it. You sure do, man, just for you. Ah, uh, thanks. Hey, will you spell my name with me? Can we do it? Yeah, All right. Goodness. let's do it. Okay, here we go. B-L-I-P-P-I. -I. Flippy, <laughs> good job. <laughs> Whoa, there are so many cool parts. Can you tell us a little bit about the race car? I'd love to, Blippy. Why don't we start right here with the tires? Now, this race car's got four tires, just like your car at home, but the tires are very different. You Whoa. notice how it's really smooth on top, no treads on it? Whoa. We call it a slick tire. That gives the race car more grip in the corners, which is obviously really important. <laughs> Very special tires for these cars. And like the tires on your road car, well, they're gonna last you a while, six months, a year. These are only gonna last us for 25 laps. So we have to come in a lot and change tires all the time because they don't last very long. Whoa, that's a lot of tires and a lot of pit stops. <laughs> and a lot of money. A set of tires on your road car might cost you a couple hundred dollars. One of these tires is $1,500, and we've got four every time we come in. What? 
$1,500? <laughs> That's an expensive tire, <laughs> but it sure looks cool. Whoa, and this race car is really colorful. Do you know the colors on the race car? <laughs> yeah, we have the color yellow, the color red, the color blue, and the color white. <laughs> Let me show you one of my favorite things, Blippi. So this is the steering wheel. Do you want to hold it? Yeah. Okay, so Ooh. it kind of looks like a video game. It's very different than your mom and dad's, you know, car steering yeah. wheel. It's got a lot of buttons. It's got a screen that gives you a lot of information about the engine, how Ooh. fast you're going. On the back, you have the shifters. So that's to go up, that's to go down, and this is the clutch. So Ooh. very, very complicated, very, very cool. Um, and it's, it's all part of what makes a race car go as fast as they do. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah, do you see that? Look, the shifters. <laughs> They're little, little switches on the back. Little switches, little paddles. Do you wanna know what paddles. else makes the car go really fast? Yeah. James will show you up front. Come over here, Blippi. Here's oh, something I wanna show you. Hey, James. So you see this part right here? Yeah. You don't see this on a road car, do you? Mm -mm. Nope, my this car is... doesn't have that. <laughs> <laughs> this is called the front wing. And what the front wing does is generate something called downforce. So what downforce is, is when the air pushes the car into the ground and it gives you more grip in the corners. So the faster you go, the faster the air hits this wing, the harder it pushes the car in the ground, the more grip you have. Whoa, that's really important. We don't want our race car to become an airplane. <laughs> no, we don't want it flying away. <laughs> We've talked a lot about what's, what makes a race car different than your car that you see on the road, but one of the things that's very similar is we have what's called an aero screen in IndyCar, and it's, it's basically a windshield and it was designed and introduced in 2020 to help protect the drivers. You know, we go over 200 miles an hour with over 30 different cars on the racetrack with us at the same time, and sometimes accidents happen. And so the number one thing for, for the series and for the Indianapolis Motor Speedway is to protect the drivers and make it a safe sport. So this was a major introduction, the first in all of motor racing, to put a screen on an open wheel race car. So that's very, very similar to a windshield that you'd have on a road car. And then you also have mirrors. So this is so we can see what's behind us. Huh, that's so cool. Yeah, look at this. This is a really cool era screen. Very cool and very, <laughs> very strong. It can withstand up to six pickup trucks, uh, the weight of six pickup trucks on top of that. So incredibly what? strong. The weight of six pickup trucks? That's really heavy. Yeah. <laughs> oh, well, Alex, I wanted to ask, since you have the aero screen, do you still have to wear a helmet? You do still have to wear a helmet. You know, ultimately, we're still driving in an open cockpit. You, you can see there's no roof on the top. So there are still potentials to have things come and hit your head. And as fast as we're going, you want to make sure you're as safe as possible. Safety first is really important. <laughs> wow, well, thank you both for teaching us about all these different parts of this really cool race car. <laughs> of course, but I mean, it's not just about the car and the driver. There's a pit crew, too. Do you want to go meet them? I would love to go meet the pit crew. All right, let's go. Come on. Whoa, look at where we are. We're in the garage. <laughs> and I'm so excited to meet the pit crew. Flippy, I want to introduce you to two of our mechanics. We got Brad and Brad. Hi, hey, nice to meet you, Blippi. Hi, Brad. Nice so to meet you. So, Blippi, the Brads are going to show you how to change a tire. Whoa, whoa, Brad and Brad, they both have the same name. <laughs> That's so silly. Brad, that would be really nice of you to show us how to change a tire. Sure can, Blippi. This is a wheel gun. You take the wheel gun, you put it on the wheel nut, pull the trigger, it comes off. You take the old tire, set it down, pick up a new tire, Slam it on, change the gun, and you're done. Whoa, that was really fast. You take the wheel gun to take off the wheel nut to take off the tire really, really fast. <laughs> Brad, how fast can you change a tire? A good one is under five seconds. Whoa, under five seconds? Whoa, <laughs> that's really fast. <laughs> well, do you think I could change a tire? Sure, I'm gonna have Brad the other Brad help you. Oh, thanks, Brad. Oh, hi, Brad. First thing you're gonna want to put on some gloves. Okay, first, we wanna put on gloves. <laughs> Safety first. Safety. Okay. One glove and two gloves. <laughs> now that we have on our gloves, I think we can change the tire. That's really heavy. <laughs> I'll give it to Brad. <laughs> and we take the other tire and we put it on the race car. <laughs> yeah. Now we need to put the wheel nut back 
on the car. And here we go. Now, we put it back on. There you Ooh, go. There it is. Nice work. Whoa. Good job, Lippy. <laughs> Whoa, that was really hard. I did it a little bit longer than five seconds, but <laughs> I just need a little practice. <laughs> wow, that was so amazing. Well, Brad, what else does a pit crew do for a race car or a race car driver? The pit crew guys clean the car, build the car, make the car for the drivers each race weekend. Wow, that is so cool. Feels like they have a really important job to have a great race. <laughs> oh, and that reminds me, oh, what else do you need to do to get ready for a race? Well, Blippi, driving a race car is incredibly physical. We have four to five G-forces, which is four to five times your body weight pushing against you in either a forward and back motion or a side to side motion. So we do a lot of stretches, James and I, before we get into a race car to do a race. Sometimes the races are two to three hours long, so you wanna make sure your body's nice and warm and ready to go. So the first thing we focus on is our neck. You know, we have the helmet on, that weighs five or six pounds. We have a lot of load that's placed on our neck with all those deep forces. So let's just grab one side of our neck and, and kind of pull it gently to the side. And we'll do that for a couple seconds and then go to the other side. Wow. So you wanna make sure you do it all. And then push on the back to kind of get the, the back of the neck warmed up, cool. and then push on your forehead and push push against to get that, that part of your neck warmed up. So it's really good to help make sure that you know you don't get tired in the race. The next thing we can do in, a, in an Indy car, there's no power steering. So the steering wheel is very heavy. Very heavy. It's very difficult to control the car. So you want to make sure that your shoulders and arms are yeah. warmed up. So we'll Probably needs surface. really strong arms too. Yeah, yeah, for Whoa. sure. So Whoa. forward, forward, backwards, yeah. yeah. Back. Whoa. You can make circles with us too. Whoa! <laughs> and the last thing you do is, you know, you are sitting for, for a long period of time, right? So you want to make sure that your legs are as warmed up as possible. So okay. what we can do is we can do a couple, we can either do jumping jacks or we can do lunges, James. What do you think we should do? I think we should try a lunge. Lunge. Thanks a lunge. Okay, oh, here we go. You can lunge with us too. Okay, here we go. Step forward. Here we go. Switch, switch legs. That's good guys. Make sure you get both of them. Yeah, do Ooh. one more. All right, so now you warmed up your legs. Good job. Your arms <laughs> and your neck. So you're ready to drive a race car. Love it. Ready to drive a race car. But I think there might be something else I'm missing. There are a couple rules when you drive the race car, and so you have to make sure you know those rules. And those okay. are really based around the flags. Now the flags all have different colors, so I'm gonna go grab those flags and I can show you what each one means, okay? Okay, all right. I'll see you soon. Whoa. There's a lot that goes into having a really good race. I'm really excited to see all these flags and what all the colors mean. <laughs> so here we go, here's a couple flags. First one right here, what color is this, Flippy? Whoa, this is the color red, <laughs> a red flag. The red flag is when there's a stoppage in the race, and that happens if we have bad weather or a bad accident that they need to clean up. Okay. Oh, hold it for you. Thanks. Next, we have the yellow flag. Ooh, yellow flag. Yellow <laughs> means caution, either in the corner or on the whole track. If there's just one car that's maybe off track, you've got to slow down and be cautious in that corner. But then once you're past that corner, you can move on to hopefully <gasps> see this one. I know this flag. The green flag. <laughs> yeah, the green flag. And I bet I know what this means too. Let's hear it. It's okay to go as fast as you can. As Woo! fast as you can. That's the one that everybody really loves seeing at the start of a race. But at the end of a race, this one's my favorite. This is the checkered flag. Whoa! And if you see this one first, it means the race is over and you won. Whoa! The checkered flag. <laughs> that means this is a really important flag. And one day, I hope I can see it if I win the race. <laughs> Woo. Hey, Blippi, I've got an idea. How about I show you what it's like to win the Indianapolis 500? Ooh, you would? Yeah. I would love to find out what it's like. All right, follow me. Okay, let's go follow Alex and see what it's like to win the Indianapolis 500. <laughs> see you soon. Woo. Whoa, look at where we are. <laughs> Blippi, do you know what this is? Whoa, this is it. The Borg Warner Trophy in real life. <laughs> so the Borg Warner Trophy uh, was created in 1936, and every single winner of the race, their face is engraved onto the trophy. <laughs> Whoa, look! There's lots of little faces. <laughs> they're right here. Wow. And they're from so many different years. Hey, look. It has their name and the year that they won and their average miles per hour. <laughs> the average, average miles per hour for the whole 500 miles. And so while we're down here, Louis Meyer in 1936, when he won the Indy 500, he requested a glass of ice cold buttermilk. 
when we got out of the race. <laughs> but we've, we've kept that as a tradition, and now every single year the winner gets a glass of milk. Oh, that sounds like a good tradition. Do you know what a tradition is? <laughs> yeah. A tradition is something that has been done for a really long time, and it's important, so we keep doing it. <laughs> sounds like there's lots of traditions if you win. So here's your glass of milk, as if you won the race. It's not buttermilk, keep in mind. But it's kind of cool, it's kind of special. You're at the victory podium, you have a glass of milk. It's almost like you won the race. It's almost like I won the race! Flippy wins! <laughs> Time to drink the victory milk! <laughs> Here we go. Like a pro. Woo! <laughs> Woo! Excuse me. <laughs> and the next thing you get if you win the race is, well, because this trophy is five and a half feet tall, it's worth over two to three million dollars. It's worth a lot of money. They give you a miniature version of the Borg Warner Trophy called the Baby Borg, which you get to take home with you and keep it at your house. <gasps> Whoa! I can't believe I'm holding a real Borg Warner Trophy, a miniature one. <laughs> wow, it is so beautiful. It has wings on the side. <laughs> And it looks like it's made of actual, real silver. <laughs> oh, thanks, Alex. You're welcome. Thank you so much for coming and learning about the Indianapolis 500 and the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. And we really hope to have you come back next year so you can see the race in person. Whoa, I would love to come see the race in May. <laughs> it sounds so fun and exciting. <laughs> thanks for teaching us about all these different things. Absolutely. It was so nice to meet you. Enjoy the rest of your time here. And I can't wait to see you again. <laughs> I'll see you soon. Bye, Bye Alex. <laughs> Wow, can you believe it? We met an actual professional race car winner and someone who won the Indy 500. <gasps> I'm so excited. <laughs> hey, maybe we can keep exploring and learn some more things about the racetrack or another race car. <laughs> Come on. Look at what we found. <laughs> well, right now we're inside turn one at the garages and it looks like we found a race car. <laughs> Look. Not just a race car, but a race car driver. <laughs> well, I've had so much fun learning about racing and racetracks with you. <gasps> Maybe we can ask them about being a race car driver and learn even more. <laughs> Come on, let's go. <laughs> Whoa, it's professional race car driver, Sarah Fisher. <laughs> Hi, Sarah, I'm Blippi. Hi, Blippi, nice to meet you. Well, it's really nice to meet you. <laughs> We've been learning all about racing and being race car drivers. <laughs> What's it like being a race car driver? It's a lot of fun, but it is sure a lot of work. <laughs> well, it sure looks like fun. We love going really fast. <laughs> Running, driving. <laughs> well, have you been a race car driver for a really long time? I have. I started in go-karts when I was just four years old. Oh, four years old? Riding a go-kart? <laughs> I love go-karts. Hey, have you ever ridden a go-kart before? <laughs> uh, but this looks a little different from a go-kart. This is really a big race car. Whoa, look at it. It has really big wheels and tires. Wow, all kinds of parts to it. <laughs> oh, Sarah, do you have a favorite part to the race car? Oh, absolutely. I have many, but one of my favorites is the rear view mirror. It was actually developed here at Indianapolis Motor Speedway in 1911, the first race. Whoa, 1911, that's a long time ago. <laughs> Yeah, you see? Look, it has a rear view mirror just like your car. So if you're driving along, <laughs> you can look in the mirror and see what's behind you. This one looks different from the other race car we saw. It has two seats. <laughs> one, two, two seats. <laughs> hey, what's the second seat for? Well, this car is purposefully built so that I can give people a ride and they can see just how fast an indie car can go. <laughs> Whoa, that sounds really, really fun. <laughs> Well, I've never been in an Indy car before, but they sound really fast. Well, what's it feel like to be in an Indy car? Do you get really nervous or shaky because you're bumping along really fast? <laughs> well, just like any other sport, sure, you can get a little nervous, but once you're in the car, all buckled in, it's time to go. <laughs> Whoa, that's so cool. And this car is really colorful too. Oh, do you know what colors the race car is? Yeah. The color green and the color blue. <laughs> Dark blue. <laughs> wow, this is a really cool race car. I wish I could drive in it. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, because it has a second seat, 
why don't you come for a ride with me and see what it's like? Me? Ride with you? In a race car? You bet. <laughs> yeah, I would love to ride. Whoa, do you think I should ride in the race car? <laughs> okay, we'll have to do it. <laughs> well, let's go get a uniform and a helmet and get buckled up and ready to go. Okay, great. <laughs> Time to get suited up. <laughs> wow, it even has a bow tie. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're all suited up. Let's go! Come on! <laughs> hmm. I wonder where Sarah went. <laughs> Good thing I have my binoculars. <laughs> I don't see her anywhere. I think I hear something. Oh, I see something! Really, really fast. <laughs> I can't wait for her to come around again. I think it's time for us to ride. Come on. Speedway, <laughs> we learned all about racetracks, race cars, and even got to meet some professional race car drivers. <laughs> Sarah Fisher, James Hinchcliffe, and the winner of the 100th running of the Indy 500, Alex Rossi! <laughs> well, that's the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Hey, will you spell my name with me? <laughs> Great! B-L-I-P-P-I. -I. Flippy. Good job. Well, I'll see you soon. <laughs> hey, it's me, Flippy. Today, we are here at the Rhythm Discovery Center in Indianapolis, Indiana. <laughs> This place is the world's only interactive percussion and drum museum. 
and I am so excited to go inside and learn all about drumming. <laughs> Wait a minute, do you hear that? It sounds like someone's already drumming. <laughs> Let's go see who it is. Come on. It's nice to meet you. What's your name? Rob. Oh, Rob, you are really good at drumming. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, we're looking to learn all about drums today, but I've never seen a drum that looks like this. Oh, well, this is called a log drum because it's made out of wood. Oh, <laughs> that's cool. How does it work? So it has these two tongues cut into it that you play with these mallets. <laughs> Do you want to try it? <gasps> I would love to try. <laughs> okay gonna use these mallets and play on the tongues. <laughs> okay, here we go. <laughs> Whoa, the log drum's pretty fun. That was great. Do you wanna see some other instruments? Whoa, I would love to. <laughs> All right, yeah, I'll take those. And let's uh, let's go further into the museum. Whoa, <laughs> Whoa look at it. This looks like a really, really, really big drum. <laughs> it is. What is this one called? It's called a gong drum. A gong drum? Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Do I use this mallet to play the gong drum? You do. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> it's really fun playing a gong because a really big gong drum makes a really big sound. <laughs> Oh, thanks for showing me this. You're welcome. <laughs> so you've played a couple instruments now. Do you want to learn how to keep a beat? Oh, well, what's a beat? A beat is a rhythm that plays in the background of other music that repeats over and over again. Whoa, yeah, I'd like to play a beat. <laughs> okay, well, let's try a really easy one. We'll do this by clapping our hands. Okay. <laughs> so we're going to clap and we're going to count up to four. We're going to do it twice. <laughs> okay, I can do that. Count to four with us and we'll clap and make beats together. All right, ready? I'm ready. One, one two, three. three. Four. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Good job. Yeah. That was great. <laughs> Do you want to try it on the drum? Yeah. You can make beats on a drum? Absolutely. Give it a shot. Okay. <laughs> Let's make the beats on a drum. You can do it with clapping at home. <laughs> Here we go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Making beats is a lot of fun especially with a big drum. <laughs> wow. I never knew drums had so many different shapes and sizes. <laughs> Are all drums made out of wood and material like this? No, I have a bunch of instruments over here made out of metal. Do you want to see them? Yeah, that would be great. <laughs> all right, let's oh. do it. I'll take this. Oh, look at it. Yeah, all of these drums are made out of metal. Uh, but. They don't really look like drums. <laughs> oh, these are part of a bigger family of instruments called percussion instruments. Whoa, well, what's a percussion instrument? Percussion instruments are anything, any instruments that we play by hitting, shaking, or scraping. Oh, so percussion means it's an instrument that you hit, <laughs> shake, whoa, or scrape. <laughs> That's exactly right. Wow. Whoa, and what are these instruments' names? Oh, yeah, so we have a desk bell like you would see in a fancy old hotel. Ooh. Ding, ding, ding. <laughs> we have cowbells there in the back. Oh, cowbells, like the animal? Yeah, you put them around their necks so they don't get lost. Oh, you don't want to lose your cow. <laughs> uh, we have altar bells, which are used in old churches. Oh, that's cool. They're so shiny. <laughs> oh, and Rob, what's that instrument in the back? That instrument back there is called a thumb piano or a kalimba. A kalimba? Kalimba. Kalimba. <laughs> kalimba. Kalimba. <laughs> that one's fun to say. <laughs> yeah, it is. Wow. Those are some pretty amazing percussion instruments. <gasps> Do you want to try this one back here? Ooh, that one's another really big one. <laughs> Let's try it. <laughs> wow. What's this instrument called? This instrument is called a tam-tam. Whoa. Hey, and look at this. It has a big mallet just like the gong drum. Hmm. And the tam-tam is big just like the gong drum too, huh? But is there something different about this one? Yeah, it's made entirely out of metal. Whoa, 
It's just like the gong drum, but because it's made of metal, maybe it'll sound different. <laughs> Can I play it? Absolutely. Okay, here we go. Tam, Tam! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Tam Tams are really, really loud. <laughs> Can I hit it again? Maybe this time a little softly. <laughs> are so many amazing percussion instruments made out of wood and metal. Hey, can you show us some more instruments? Sure, come with me. <laughs> I can't wait to keep drumming. Come on. Whoa, <laughs> look at this place. <laughs> there are so many amazing instruments. Rob, where are we? We're in an exhibit called Evolving Sounds, where I keep instruments from all over the world and from different styles of music. Whoa, they look so cool. Wow, and this one's really big. <laughs> What's this instrument called? This instrument's called a vibraphone. Do you want to hear how it sounds? <laughs> yeah. Wow. Ooh, <laughs> that sounds so beautiful and spacey. <laughs> wow, and it kind of looks like a piano. Yeah, it has bars here that kind of look like the white keys on a piano and bars here that look like the black keys. <laughs> Flippy, I know you play a little bit. Do you want to try? Okay. <laughs> Let's try playing the vibraphone. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Whoa! I really like the vibraphone because it can make beautiful music. Or Silly sounds. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, and Rob, is this also a vibraphone? Yes, this is actually a very special vibraphone. It's got a, it's got its own name. It's called the Celestophone, Ooh. and it's actually made out of meteorites or space rocks. Whoa! No way! That's so cool. Look, it's just like the other vibraphone, except this vibraphone is really sparkly and reflective, kind of like a mirror. <laughs> hey, I can see myself. <laughs> wow. Would you play a song for us? Sure. <laughs> wow! That was great! Whoa! You're really good at playing a lot of instruments. Thank you. <laughs> wow, that was so cool hearing the Celestophone. <laughs> oh, I think I know what this other instrument is. Oh yeah? It's a drum. <laughs> oh yeah, this is one of my favorite drums. This is called a snare drum. Whoa. You've probably seen it if you've ever seen a parade. Wow, <laughs> could you play it for us so we can hear out sounds? Absolutely. I love a snare drum. It sounds so cool, like I'm in a marching band, marching along. <laughs> oh, and I know what these are too. Oh yeah? These are cymbals. <laughs> Crash cymbals, but I didn't know they were percussion instruments. Yeah, because you hit them together. <laughs> oh yeah. If something is hit together, or you scratch it, or you shake it, it's percussion. <laughs> you mind if I crash these cymbals? Please. Here we go. It's gonna be really loud. <laughs> Whoa, that was really loud. <laughs> hey, I have an idea. How about you play the snare drum, and I'll play the crash cymbals, and we can be a band. That sounds great. Let's try it out. Okay, here we go. <laughs> We played together. <laughs> hey, we were a band. Yeah. yeah. That's when people play music together. <laughs> wow, well, thank you for teaching us about these amazing instruments and <laughs> playing the snare drum with me. Oh, I played the cymbals. <laughs> well, 
Are there other instruments we can learn to play? Sure, let's go this way. <laughs> okay. Wow, look at this place. It's so cool. There are so many percussion instruments and drums. <laughs> yeah, Blippi, this is Groove Space. So this is a place where you can take any instrument you want and play whatever kind of music you feel like. <laughs> Good, well, I feel like playing all kinds of music today. <laughs> all right, well, I actually have to go practice. Do you want to stay here and play a bit? Yeah, that sounds great. You go practice and I'll play with some of the drums and instruments. <laughs> all right, I'll see you later. I'll see you soon. <laughs> wow, I am so excited to play some fun drums and percussion instruments. But I do have one problem. Hmm, which one should I play first? <laughs> we'll just have to decide. Hmm, well, there's a lot of drums. Whoa, look at this. There are drums that are really big, and this one is a circle. Whoa, <laughs> whoa. But drums, they come in all sizes and shapes, like this. <laughs> yeah, this one right here, look, it's a rectangle. <laughs> Yeah, it's a rectangle with four sides. Two of them are a little longer, so it's not a square. It's a rectangle. <laughs> Whoa. Hmm, and what else should we play with? <laughs> Whoa, look at this. Yeah, have you seen one of these before? <laughs> this is a shaker. You just go on the side with your hand and shake. <laughs> oh, we have a small shaker, but if you want, we also have really big shakers. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> wow! Yeah, this one's kind of silly looking. <laughs> yeah, it's covered in beads and is the color red and black. <laughs> but the shaker under it is the color white. <laughs> Whoa! I wonder what things we can use to make beats and really fun drum sounds. Whoa, look at this. <laughs> this instrument, it kind of looks like a drum, but it has all these little things on the side. Yeah, so when you shake it, <laughs> it jingles and rattles. <laughs> this is a tambourine. Whoa, <laughs> and I love playing tambourines. They make such a fun sound. That is so much fun, playing all kinds of drums and percussion instruments. But we should probably find Rob. Hmm. You are really good at playing drums. <laughs> Thanks, Blippi. Whoa, what kind of drum is this? This is a drum set. So it's a bunch of drums that you play as one instrument. Whoa, <laughs> there are so many drums and cymbals. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Looks really cool. <laughs> Do you want to give it a shot? I would love to give it a shot. <laughs> All right. Sounds so fun. <laughs> Whoa. There you go. Ooh. So first, I need my drumsticks. And do I sit here? Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> All ready to play. Uh, but Rob, do you have some tips on playing a drum set? Yeah, do you remember the counting we did earlier when we were clapping? Yeah, remember? We counted, clapped our hands, and made beats. <laughs> All right, so this time, your right hand is gonna do exactly what we did when we clapped earlier. It's gonna play one, two, three, four. <laughs> and then your left hand is actually gonna uh, stay in the same time, but it's just gonna play on two and four. Oh, cool. Okay, we're gonna play on this right here with our right hand and go one, two, Three, four, but only play on two and four with our left hand. <laughs> but the tricky part is doing it at the same time. <laughs> Let's start one at a time. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. <laughs> and now just two and four. One, three, four. One, two, three, four. <laughs> and now together. <laughs> One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. <laughs> That's really fun. That was great. Well, I don't want to just play the drum set. I want to rock! <laughs> Well, thank you 
for the tip trough. It was You're so much fun learning about drums and percussion instruments and showing us around today. <laughs> oh, you're welcome. I do have one more thing we could do, though. One more thing? Yeah, I have some friends coming over to play music. Would you like to join us? Oh, I would love to join you. <laughs> All right, let's go. OK, let's go. <laughs> hey, everybody. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> this is my buddy, Blippi. Whoa, hello. Wow, this looks like an awesome drum circle. <laughs> Is it okay if I drum with you? What do you guys think? Yeah! <laughs> yeah! All right! Okay. Oh, I think we're ready to start. All right. I think we've done this a couple times. <laughs> Let's ready? try this. Can we do an impression of a thunderstorm? Yeah! Whoa! <laughs> All right, let's start. The wind is picking up. Ooh. I'm starting to hear a little bit of rain. Can you use your fingers? Starting to hear a little more rain. It's a lot of rain! Thunder! Ah! All right. It's just raining a little bit now. Really quiet rain. Oh, it's getting a little heavier. And a little louder. Okay. All right, do you guys want to try to play a rhythm together? Yeah, that would be great. Okay. Uh, I'll play it once and you guys play it back to me. We'll try it out. Okay. <laughs> okay, that was great. Let's try it together. learning all about drums, percussion, and being in my very first drum circle. <laughs> I'm glad you liked it. I got something for you if you want to keep playing drums after you leave. Really? I would love something yeah. to keep playing drums. All right, there you go. Whoa, my very own drumsticks. <laughs> Give them a try. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Whoa, they light up. They're my favorite colors, blue and orange. <laughs> well, thank you, Rob. You're uh, welcome. I'll see you later. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye. Hey, I had so much fun with you learning about drums and percussion instruments here at the Rhythm Discovery Center in Indianapolis, Indiana. <laughs> hey, what was your favorite instrument that we played today? Really? I like that one too. <laughs> well, that's the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Hey, will you spell my name with me? <laughs> Great. Okay. B-L-I-P-P-I. -P -P -I. Blippi. Good job. Well, I'll see you real soon. Oh, and I need to do some more drumming. <laughs>
And can you guess where I am today? <laughs> yeah, that's right. We're here in Diggerland in Kent, England. <laughs> Whoa, and do you see what I'm writing in? Yeah, this right here is a telehandler. <laughs> yeah, they're really big vehicles that lift really big, heavy things. <laughs> but today, it's not lifting a big, heavy thing. It's lifting me. <laughs> Whoa, here we go. Whoa. Diggerland is awesome! And I wonder what kind of construction vehicles we'll see today. <laughs> Wait a minute, do you hear something? Hmm, I think I hear a vehicle. Do you see a construction vehicle behind me? <gasps> Whoa, check it out! It's an excavator! <laughs> yeah! Well, I love excavators. <laughs> oh, I have an idea. Let's pretend to be excavators and dig in the dirt together. <laughs> Okay, I'll teach you how. Just bring up your arm to be the arm, the boom, and the bucket, and start to scoop. <laughs> Whoa, look at a scoop! Whoa, that was so much dirt! <laughs> Good job. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. I think I see someone in the cab. Maybe they can teach us how to operate the excavator. <laughs> Let's take a closer look. Come on. <laughs> Whoa, it's so muddy here. Good thing I brought my rain boots. <laughs> oh, hey, there's a person. Come on, let's go say hi. <laughs> okay. Hello. Hi. Hi, I'm Blippi, what's your name? My name's Brad. Oh, Brad, it's nice to meet you. Can you teach us how to operate the excavator? Of course I can. Okay, <laughs> cool. <laughs> so, Brad, can I climb up in there? Yes. Okay, Careful. here we go. <laughs> Let's get into the cab. So, seatbelt first for me. Oh yeah, safety first. That stick over there, mm -hmm. I want you to pull it backwards for me and that's gonna go all the way up. Okay, here we go. If you push it forwards for me, it should go all the way down for you. Now, if you go side to side on that one, it's going to open and close your bucket for you to do big scoops. Whoa, check it out! Now, on this one here, if you go forwards and backwards for me, that's going to go in and out. Okay. Whoa! So this is controlling the arm. Yes. Whoa. And then the last bit, if you go side to side on it, that will turn the whole thing for you. Okay, here we go. Watch awesome. out. Watch <laughs> out. Whoa! Whoa! Check it out! Whoa! Yeah! I can control the arm right here and the boom over here. Here we go. Woo! <laughs> Whoa! This is awesome! <laughs> Whoa! Let's scoop some more dirt. Here we go! Whoa! Look at all the dirt we got! Here we go! Did you see that? Whoa! Excavators are awesome! <laughs> so much fun learning how to operate the excavator. Huh, but excavators are really cool, but I bet there's some pretty amazing construction vehicles we can go find. <laughs> Come on. Whoa, this place is so much fun. <laughs> Whoa, and do you see what it says? It says, stack attack. Hmm, wait a minute. I think this is a game we can play together. Well, let's go inside and play. This place is awesome. <laughs> Whoa, check it out. Yeah, it's so muddy and dirty here. <laughs> I bet this game is definitely gonna be messy. <laughs> Whoa, and look at what it is. <laughs> They're giant tires! 
Woo! <laughs> Whoa, look at all the tires here. It looks like there are one, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> six tires. Hmm, well, I bet the game is we need to stack all the tires up. Stack, attack, stack the tires. Okay, we can do it. Okay, we just need to get a tire and stack it on another and we can make a tower of tires. <laughs> okay, here we go. Mm. <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> that tire is way too heavy to pick up. Hmm, but I wonder how we're going to stack all of those tires. No way! <laughs> Look at what it is! It's a compact loader! Whoa! This is gonna be perfect for stacking those tires. Yeah, do you see in the front? This is a hydraulic claw! Yeah, look at it. Whoa! <laughs> and it uses these little claws here to grab the tires and stack them up. <laughs> Whoa! I think we should get inside <laughs> and try to stack up those tires. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> this is pretty fun! <laughs> hey, it's kind of like any other vehicle. Safety first. You need your seatbelt. <laughs> okay, we'll buckle up. And, hmm, well, we also need to know how to drive it. So first, we have pedals. One pedal goes forward, and the other pedal, it goes backwards. <laughs> it has a key, just like a car, so we can turn it on and a steering wheel, <laughs> so we can change direction. Ooh, and do you see what this is? Yeah, this right here, this is the control for the hydraulic claw. Yeah, when we move this, it will move the claw so we can stack up those tires and have lots of fun and win the game. <laughs> okay, I think it's time to stack those tires. <laughs> here we go. Whoa, look at it go. <laughs> Okay, here we go. One tire! <laughs> hey. Whee! We stacked three tires, but we need to stack the rest. <laughs> fun and a little bit silly. <laughs> Come on, let's go! <laughs> Woo! Hello! <laughs> Check it out! <laughs> Do you know what I was just driving? <laughs> yeah, that is a backhoe! <laughs> Yeah, it's a little bumpy to drive, but so fun. And I thought we could go on a ride together. But first, I wanted to show you this. <laughs> yeah, do you know what this is called? It's called the front bucket. Yeah, and on a backhoe, it helps to dig up all the dirt <laughs> so you can make a really big hole and help to build something if you're on a construction site. <laughs> Whoa, and check it out. A backhoe has really big wheels and tires. <laughs> yeah, look, it has medium-sized front wheels and tires <laughs> and really, really, really big <laughs> back wheels and tires. <laughs> it's a little bit muddy. <laughs> yeah, look, big treads help to get all the mud so it can go really fast <laughs> and so that it doesn't get stuck. <laughs> Whoa, and do you see what this is? Hmm. <laughs> Yeah, it's an excavator arm. Wait a minute, a backhoe 
like this has an excavator arm attachment, just like the Blippi Mobile has an excavator arm attachment. <laughs> yeah, it has an arm, a boom, and a bucket, so it can dig all the dirt in the back, or the front bucket can dig in the front. Well, that was really cool showing you the exterior of the backhoe. Now, it's time to get inside and go for a ride. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Ooh, here we go. <laughs> Watch your step. Whoa, I am so excited to go on a ride with you. But first things first, you need to buckle your seatbelt. <laughs> and I'm gonna buckle up too. <laughs> Safety first. <sighs> okay, and now we get to start the backhoe. And kind of like a car, it has a key right over here. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Whoa! Yeah, check it out. We're inside the backhoe. It has a wheel just like a car. And look, oh, <laughs> a windshield wiper. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> okay, but it's not raining right now, so we don't need that. And it has a gear shifter. So we'll put that into the right gear and take the brake away. Okay. <laughs> Okay, we're all ready to drive. <laughs> oh, but I forgot another important thing. Yeah, if we want to move the front bucket, we just move this knob right over here. Here we go. Check it out. Whoa, up, down, up. <laughs> okay, I think we're ready to drive. Here we go. Woo! Do you see what it is? Yeah, there's a bunch of tires. Maybe we can try to pick one up. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Whoa, do you see it? Look, we grabbed a tire with the front bucket. And I have an idea. <laughs> Let's take it with us on our journey. Woo, here we go. Whoa, <laughs> that was a big bump. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But it's so fun driving in a backhoe because the tires and treads are so big that even if we drive over a couple bumps, it's okay. <laughs> yeah, can't hurt us. <laughs> Here we go. We're gonna make a big turn. Whoa! And through a big puddle. Woo! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> well, good thing we have our seatbelt on. <laughs> Wait a minute. Look up ahead. It looks like there are two really big hills. One, two. One of them looks really, really steep and really big. You think we can make it over it? <laughs> Good, me too. Okay, we're gonna go really fast and go over the big hill. <laughs> Let's do it. Here we go. Here we go. Woohoo! <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! fun. <laughs> Whoa! It's really raining now, which means we get to have lots of fun in the rain and the mud. <laughs> Whoa! And look at what it is! It's an excavator! <laughs> yeah! Look, there's the cab where workers sit to control the boom, <laughs> the arm, and the bucket. Wait a minute. That's not the bucket. Those are seats. <laughs> you know what? I bet we can ride this excavator. Yeah, this isn't any ordinary excavator. This is Spin Dizzy. <laughs> and it's a ride. Yeah, it's called Spin Dizzy because you spin and get really dizzy. <laughs> okay, let's get on it. Woo! Here we go. <laughs> Here we go! Woohoo! <laughs> okay. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Look at me go! Woo! Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! That was so fun! Woohoo! <laughs> Whoa! Didn't you see that? Whoa! That 
That was so much fun spinning in the excavator. <laughs> I got a little bit dizzy. Whoa! That was so much fun today at Diggerland. <laughs> we saw so many construction vehicles and we got to operate them. <laughs> we even got to see an excavator. <laughs> well, that's the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. <laughs> Hey, can you spell my name with me? <laughs> okay, <laughs> get ready. B L I P P I. Flippy, good job. Well, I'll see you soon. Bye bye. <laughs>